So what's going on guys, K this here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best artillerist PvE build in Lost Ark. So in this guide I will show you what abilities and awakening skill you want to get. Then I will explain what are the best engravings and cards to use for end game content. And then lastly I will show you the best gameplay and even which stats you need to allocate for PvE so you would be able to get the best results and highest damage possible and much more. So no matter how low or high level or gear score your character is, you can easily use this build and follow the step by step guide. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So the artillerist is a slow but deadly damage focused class. Most of his skills deal damage in huge AUV, which helps to clear big monster waves very fast. This is a easy but difficult to master class. His main skills like the air raid and the homing barrage have a delay between the hit and cast time. So you require knowledge of boss attack patterns and mechanics to play the artillerist to its maximum potential. Artillerist has this firepower meter that fills up when dealing damage. Each one of your stages increases the damage dealt and with our selected engravings, the final stage allows you to activate the barrage mode and during this mode you become immobile and your skills get replaced by 4 different powerful skills, which will give you huge amount of AV damage and much more. So if you are looking for the best leveling, raiding, chaos dungeon or any other PvE content build then this is the one for you. Ok so now let's move over to the build itself and these are the skills you want to have. So then for the first ability we have the multiple rocket launcher and we use 10 levels to unlock the flame rocket, quick bombardment and the access denied. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the second ability we have the summon turret and this time we use just 4 levels to select the armor destruction and then for your rune you want to get the bleed. Then for the next one we have the air raid skill and we use 10 levels to unlock the quick fire, lightning bombardment and the big one. And then for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the fourth ability we have the flame thrower and we use 10 more levels to select the quick preparation, shield and blue flame. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the whelp. Then for the next one we have the energy field ability and we use once again 10 levels to unlock the mind concentration, energy increase and solid shield. And then for your rune you want to get the purify. So then for one of the last abilities we have the napalm shot and this time we use just 4 levels to select the target focus. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the overwhelm. Then for the 7th ability we have the forward barrage. And we use 4 more levels to unlock the firepower control and then for your rune you want to get the wealth. And then for the last and final ability we have the homing barrage. And we use our last 10 levels to select the guiding enhancement, peak point detection and power bomb. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the overwhelm. Then as well after level 50 for your awakening skill you want to get the missile barrage. But if you haven't reached level 50 yet then here is a specific guide on which abilities you should upgrade first while leveling with the artillerist. And then on top of all this focus on equipping as high item level gear as you can. And then at the end game you should have 1250 crit and 350 swiftness. But again if you haven't reached this point yet then try to have around 20% stats into swiftness and 80% stats into crit. Ok so then the way I would recommend to upgrade this build is at level 50 you will get around 250 points. So here's how your build should look like. But then by doing more and more endgame content you will get more points. And at the absolute endgame this is how your build should look like with all the 380 skill points. So at the start you use the 252 point build and then by leveling up and completing quests you will get more points. So just keep on improving your skills and getting higher tier runes as well. So then let's move over to the engravings and you want to get the firepower enhancement. This engraving will provide damage reduction and increased crit rate per every single stage. Age. For tier 1 content we will only need this engraving at level 1 since additional levels will only offer very little damage increase. Then the second engraving is called the adrenaline which increases your crit rate and is easily stackable with most of your artillery skills. Then the next one is called the keen blunt weapon which is a good engraving to utilize when you have more than 70% crit rate. Then for the fourth engraving you want to get the hit master and this engraving is very useful because your main damage skills don't have a positional attack modifier. Then the next one is called the Curse Dull and this is a significant attack power increase at the cost of 25% healing penalty. 
This penalty can be offset by paying more attention on dodging red AOE circles and using healing potions more often. And then for the last engraving we have the grudge. And this is more advanced engraving that is recommended for tier 3 content. This grudge is the most efficient engraving against mobs and you will get your damage increased. But in return you will take 20% more damage. So when you get to the very end game content which is called the tier 3, then get this engraving. And before using it, get it to at least level 2 because a level 1 engraving is not that efficient. So then in a quick summary, I would recommend to get the top 3 engravings first and then the bottom 3. And then last but not the least, let's move over to your cards. And you want to get a Shandy, a Zena and a Nana, Nineveh, Vey, Baldur and Tyrain. In general, these cards are an endgame system for maximizing your character, so you don't have to get them right away, but these specific cards will optimize your damage output in PvE even more. I did bunch of testing for this build and this was the best and most optimized card set. Okay, so then moving over to the gameplay, and if you have played this class while leveling, you will be very familiar with the skills. So I will just try to give you a short description. So then the first ability is called the Summon Turret. And like the name implies, the skill summons a turret that deals damage and puts a 12% debuff on the enemy. Then the next ability is called the Energy Release, that creates a shield around you which will absorb 40% of all of your maximum HP. And at the same time, this will prevent you from getting interrupted while casting other DPS skills. Then the next three abilities called the Air Raid, Multiple Rocket Launcher and Napalm Shot, are simple damage spells that will do huge AOV damage and each explosion will increase your crit rate. Then for one of the last abilities we have the forward barrage and the skill will quickly fire a cannon that will inflict damage and make your firepower meter recover twice as fast. And then moving over to the last and final ability which is the flamethrower and the skill will unleash a fire to your enemies and at the same time you will activate your tripod that will generate a shield that will absorb 10% of your HP. And then for your awakening skill we have the missile barrage that simply fires 20 rockets in the sky dealing massive explosive damage and this will help you to fill up your firepower meter very fast. So I usually use this ability whenever it comes off cooldown for more overall damage. Ok so then let's take a closer look at your best skill rotation and for you to get the highest damage possible you first of all want to place the summon turret then activate the energy field skill and then do damage by using the homing barrage then the air raid then multiple rocket launcher, then napalm shot, then forward barrage and then finish it off with your flamethrower. So let's see what we did in this rotation. By placing the summon turret we applied a debuff to our enemy defenses by 12%. Then by activating the energy field skill we increased our survivability and while we were performing the rotation the shield prevented us from getting interrupted. And then lastly the rest of our skills just did massive amounts of AV damage. And then last but not the least we can't forget about our 4 special skills called the barrage mode. So when this meter is at full you activate the mode and then quickly use the rest of your AV damage skills which are not on cooldown. Then afterwards cast the bombardment impregnability, then the bombardment energy cannon and then finish it off with the bombardment hovitzer skill. So now in my last and final conclusions for this build. The energy field skill is very important because it will increase your survivability and reduce the risk of getting interrupted while casting your damage abilities. Then as well as I've said keep up the armor the destruction debuff by having always one summon turret placed on the ground. Then don't forget to use a spacebar to cancel long animation skills when you need to dodge incoming attacks from the enemy. And then lastly keep on using the homing brush and air raid as they are your two strongest skills for AV damage and that's about it. So I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Lost Ark PvE classes that you would like to see in the next video then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. If you are interested in the top 3 best PvE builds or instead the top 3 best PvP builds then check the link in the description or just scroll through my channel. And while you are doing that please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. So take it easy, peace.